Hi everyone, Frankie M here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make firecrackers. Now the firecrackers you buy at the store simply work by using a sudden and rapid increase in gas pressure to burst the cardboard tube and make the nice loud crack you hear. Um, so we're going to be using a very very fast burning mixture here to produce this result. We've got uh, antimony sulfide and potassium chlorate. The two react very very violently and very fast to form um, antimony oxide, potassium oxide, sulfur dioxide, and chlorine. Now this sulfur dioxide and chlorine is going to quickly pressurize the, the uh, container and burst it to make the nice loud crack in the explosion. So the ratio here is 1 gram of antimony sulfide to 1.3 grams of potassium chlorate. So here's roughly 15 grams of antimony sulfide and here's roughly 20 grams of potassium chlorate. Now the smaller your particle size, the finer your powder, the faster this is going to go. And the faster your reaction occurs, the more sudden and rapid your gas expansion is going to be and the better bang you're going to get. So I've ground this uh, potassium chlorate which was originally it was originally in chunks kind of like this to decrease the particle size. Now do not ever 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 grind fuels and oxidizers together as many of these mixtures are fric friction sensitive and grinding the two together is just asking for trouble. So with that said, let's mix the two. Alright, so you want to mix these two really well. Um, it is shock and friction sensitive, as I said, so be very careful when you're mixing it. Don't go medieval on it. Alright, I've got this mixed pretty well now. I don't know if you can see it. So I found you get a you get a pretty nice crack if you simply just if you simply just um, wrap this stuff in notebook paper with a fuse. So let me get the materials. All right, so I've got about a uh, half a gram of mixture right here. So all I need to do is put down a fuse and tightly roll this all together to um, make a homemade firecracker. Now make sure the uh, make sure that the paper itself is very very tightly rolled, very tightly packed, but do not compress the powder itself as it is um, shock and friction sensitive and it might go off. Alright, so I've rolled the powder up in the tube here, rolled up in the notebook paper, and sealed both ends pretty well. Here I just simply, simply folded the uh, paper. Um, now hopefully the gas pressure will be rapid and sudden enough, enough to uh, burst this container and give us a nice loud crack and explosion we like in firecrackers. So let's take the powder outside and test it out. Alright, so I'm going to demonstrate the shock sensitivity now by simply just hitting it with a hammer. Now only do this with a little tiny amount of this powder of course so you don't blow yourself up. Alright, here we go. Kaboom indeed. Alright, so let's test a little bit of this unconfined now. Now you heard the really loud bang when I shock tested it because I've confined the powder between the hammer and the brick, so basically there's just there's just a very small area for the gas to escape and it's gonna go bang. Without a container it more kinda goes whoosh, makes a big cloud. You'll see in a second. All right. So as you can see, it makes a near instantaneous cloud of gas there. And that is what's going to burst the container I'm about to test. All right, let's test the uh, homemade firecracker here. So quick word of advice. Um, only use paper and cardboard for this. Do not use glass, do not use metal, do not use PVC because of course those are stronger containers a bit more pressure is going to build up and that's going to make a devastating explosive not to mention the shrapnel dispersed by the explosion is quite deadly. 
So without further ado, let's light this and see if we get the container to burst. Not bad, not bad at all. So, that's how you make a homemade firecracker. Let's get over to the, and yep, all that remains of the container is just a few shreds of paper scattered around. So that falls into another, that falls into the category of another dangerous and crazy experiment, so don't try this without background knowledge, but hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video.